Hi, it's Tim with UTV Excursion and Review. Today is not a review, today is an excursion. We're going to take a ride from uh, Jawbone Canyon out near Mojave, California to a living ghost town called Randsburg, California. It's an easy trail. Uh, you won't need four-wheel drive or any uh, special equipment to get there. It's a simple ride. We're leaving from Bakersfield, California, so a brief description of uh, directions would be Highway 58 East for about 25 miles, catch Highway 14 North for about 12 miles, and you'll come to a spot called Jawbone Store. At Jawbone Store, there's also a ranger station called Jawbone Station, where you can pick up a Friends of Jawbone map. They're about $2.00. Uh, not the greatest map by any means, but has a few of the major trails on it and it can help. Right at the Jawbone Station, you would head east on Ransburg Road. You would go down about 10 miles. On the left, you'll see a dirt trail with a kiosk and a trail marker that says EP100. That's where we started. In the video to follow this, you will see that kiosk and that trail marker. Again, the best way to navigate this above all other ways is with the Magellan TR7 or TRX GPS. We've downloaded the road trip and the off-road trip onto Magellan's website called Magellan Trailhead. If you don't have one of these, you're missing out. You can go to that website, download this, put it in your device, and ride right in our tire tracks. This is the best way to go. Bob, that's usually behind the camera, is going to narrate the ride. It's a simple ride. It's about, oh, 12 to 15 miles. Lots of fun in Ransburg. They have big events throughout the year. So let's grab our Magellan, our rugged radio, and our helmet, and let's go for a ride. Hi, this is Bob. Uh, you don't get to hear much from me. I'm usually behind the camera. Uh, this trip, I get to do a little bit of narration. Uh, what we're trying to show here is the condition of the trail, uh, some of the turns, uh, different jumping off spots, if you will, uh, trail markers, uh, that sort of thing, some landmarks. Uh, just to make it a little bit easier, uh, try to get you a little more comfortable with this very easy, uh, very easy trail. Uh, so ride along for a bit, and we'll be talking at you in a minute. Coming up is where we're going to cross the road, the railroad tracks, and we're going to be getting on the other side of the railroad tracks. And this area, or this trail, is marked 110-112. So uh, we'll travel on this road for a little ways.
on your left, you'll see the old train trestle. That's a pretty good landmark, uh, one that's hard to miss. is the famous Y in the road, stay to the right here. Uh, this will put you on 110. Uh, the trail we've been on is 112, 110. And uh, if you'll notice, you can almost see how straight the trail is here. Uh, let's get going and uh, see what we see. Here's uh, where we're waiting on everyone else to catch up. Uh, we try to stay fairly close. Uh, try to stay in touch. Of course, we have the rugged radios that we can we can use, but we like to have visual on everybody. Coming up is uh, an area where we have to cross a road. You will notice that we try to get this accomplished as safe as we can and as fast as we can. Uh, we like staying out of the way of the cars. It's just good sense. Coming up on our left is uh, the old water tank. Uh, pretty good land marker. If you've, uh, if you've made it this far with us, you, you've almost made it to Ransburg. Now you'll see we're coming up on some trail riders and they, uh, they're practicing the correct trail etiquette. And you'll notice the last man gives us the all clear last man signal. Always nice to know what's up ahead. Uh, this is all very much appreciated by uh, the trail riders, uh, off-road community, and the UTV community. Uh, this type of thing keeps us all safe, uh, and that's what we need more of. Now we have some more uh, UTVs coming down the trail. Uh, this area is used by all types of vehicles. 
Uh, when we get into town, you'll you'll see a bit more of the vehicles that, that use this trail, uh, different types, that sort of thing. Uh, so uh, enjoy the ride. starting to catch a, a little glimpse of the living ghost town of Ransburg. Uh, this part of the trail is heavily traveled, uh, pretty hard panned, uh, real easy trail. This is well representative of what the trail is like. Notice on the left there's some construction Along about this section of the trail, uh, it's pretty widely accepted that there is a speed limit here. I believe it's 25 miles an hour. Uh, please respect that. Uh, if, if, if the community messes up, we won't be invited back and it's a, we won't be able to go there anymore. For sure, right now you're on a public road, so uh, behave like you are. Uh, this is about the nicest piece of road uh, in Ransburg, so uh, just take it easy and, and enjoy the sights. the first time I, uh, I haven't seen a Kern County Sheriff's Department vehicle uh, right here at this intersection. Usually it's pretty well patrolled. Uh, they have some four-wheel drive vehicles. Uh, they have a razor that they use in the desert. So be mindful, they're out there and they don't really want to spoil anyone's fun. They're there to keep us all safe. And now, I don't know about you, but I'm starving to death and I would like to get into the White House Saloon and get a burger. Come join us. <laughs> 